In this video, we'll balance the equation for C8H16 plus O2. This is a combustion reaction because we have a hydrocarbon plus oxygen and we get carbon dioxide and water. So to balance the equation, let's count the atoms up on each side. We have eight carbons, 16 hydrogens and two oxygens. On the product side, we have the one carbon, two hydrogens, and then two oxygens plus we have one oxygen here. Make sure you count that. So three total oxygens on the product side. Let's start by putting an eight in front of the CO2. One times eight, that gives us eight. So we've just balanced the carbons. Let's update the oxygens. We have eight times two is 16 plus the one. Now we have 17. Let's fix the hydrogens. We could put an eight in front of the H2O. 2 times 8, that gives us 16. So the hydrogens are balanced. Update the oxygens. We have 8 times 2, that's 16, plus 8 times 1, that's 8. So now we have 24 oxygen atoms. That's not too hard to fix. We've left the oxygen to last. We've done that strategically. It's always a good idea to leave the oxygen to last. Because if we put a 12 right here, 2 times 12, That'll give us 24. In this equation, it's balanced. So as you balance these combustion reactions, leave that oxygen to last. That'll be helpful. And then when you're counting up your oxygens, make sure you count the oxygens in the CO2 and in the H2O. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C8H16 plus O2. Thanks for watching.